I'm going to start here by by reviewing really quickly the filament winder filament maker assembly so we've got the filament maker here this is great work we're ready to build uh, I think we've got a complete diagram of this and and everything else the wires are here now just have a question on the coloring of the wires like for example if you if you look at say the power supply here is that if you if you connect for example red to red on all these other things does that mean that that'll actually work that's that's the color code here we're connecting the like uh, the like terminals to like terminals correct the same colored ones Roberto yes. can you yeah the, the colors was for uh, the same color is for uh, same wires yep. I mean connectors um, the same wire connecting to into the two different points but it's the same wire yeah 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 that's good so for example let me see if I can read this right here so I got this green wire here this one here and I'm seeing a green wire down here so I connect those two right so it should be transparent yeah I actually uh, at this moment I can't see what you're showing in, ah. your, in your screen but I I guess that you're right if the okay. colors are, are the same they, they should be connected okay that's good so just to wrap up here so that's great on the filament uh, extruder here that's good looks I mean this is really clear and then on the filament winder here we've also got different terminals here uh, did you do those like for example I'm seeing a green one here and I'm not seeing any other green one in the entire um, does that mean that it's yeah. not complete or that, that's is, is the power cord that oh that's I mean I think it's the ground connection maybe okay all right yeah. so once yeah, again that, I think Okay, so I mean it's pretty. I can't see green either. Uh huh. But it, it may be the video lagging or something. But it it should be clear. I, I I followed kind of the color codes from the wiring diagrams. And uh huh. I don't know. The, I don't like everything in the wiring diagrams, but the diagrams he had are pretty good for wiring yeah. up. And I think maybe he made decisions on that based on some of the physical connections and the way things yeah. are laid out. Yeah. Um, I'm also and, and there's some wiring stuff that could be added. Uh, yeah. I guess this started because Roberto was asking where the wire connector that was for this in the Spooler library uh, needs to go, and I, I think there need to be a few sometimes of splices in there because there's a bunch of wiring that interconnects, and there's different types of splicers mm -hmm. that we could get or use. I don't think wire nuts are a good idea because it's, people have trouble using those and so on and they can come loose and that kind of stuff so um i don't think he specifies a bunch of you know different types of connectors in the build materials but i i, I suspect for the spooler especially the build materials is possibly missing uh mm -hmm. some things that he he may have ended up using so a lot of these are screwed down maybe be updated like this is screwed down um the terminals on the com major components are that way, but there's um, like bus wiring that goes between uh, a bunch of to power a bunch of different devices that are connected. And so technically, you could use like a, okay. There's splice types like T splices that are uh, you know no strip or self stripping that kind of stuff might be useful, but. All of those type of interconnects have problems. I'm trying to think of what's easiest to use in a, uh, a possible workshop uh, state that might be, you know, uh -huh. trouble-free for people to use in that environment. So, yeah. uh, the, but the crimp connector, there's certain types of crimp connectors, just, or uh, they have uh, non-screw types of wire nuts, blocks, and things like that that could be used that might work better uh, so kind of need to look at the back at the overall design and maybe adjust the build materials to reflect that yeah uh, uh, well this is I think the overall CAD could use maybe more detail I was thinking that the way I 
did that on the spooler. If it's visible, it's a lot harder on the extruder, but uh, if all the wire connectors are put into the final CAD and there's, you know, the little colored cylinders on everything, then we could take a snapshot, screenshot of that, and then maybe do a vector drawing overlay of more wiring detail. Okay. Uh, that sounds that pretty... That would represent the diagram better. You're talking about like in a Google Doc, just to explain a little better? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So just, yeah. Uh, you know, take a snapshot of the final pad if it kind of works out that way, and maybe just draw some wires over it using some other software. Right, so that's good. Okay, excellent. Um, so we're pretty good, and just the only outstanding part is to generate that labeled part diagram with links to all the different parts, which reconcile the... Uh, the master bill of mat the master index with the CAD, just like we already did for the extruder. So this is so good that it's already posted on uh, minus the connections here on uh, OSC Workshop's Facebook page. I'm recording this just so people can see this, but yeah, that's the final status here. It's really good. And the news on that is uh, all, uh, September 16 or 23rd build, Abe. Like we talked about, when do we prototype it? Well. Uh, do it as a second day of the next next workshop, not the next coming up this Friday, where we're going to do the experimental build of the six foot printer, but workshop after that August 16 in Augusta, Maine, where we're going to do a second day of the workshop where we build this thing. It's going to be an experimental day where we just build it, get it to work, and then you know take it from there, see how far we can refine it on that one day. So the next step on that is to uh, somebody to help out on the well, I guess uh, if anyone on a team here can, I mean, I can pay for the materials, but if you want to ship the materials to somebody who can actually like assemble it and do like initial simple tests, like do all the motors work, do the, you know, all of that, just initial testing to help us prepare for that event, that would be good because our time is pretty tight here uh, because at that time we'll be uh, doing a lot of work on the tractor, torch table. So if somebody can can help out on... Maybe we can ship them the parts and they could do some work on this. Just let me know. I don't know if Abe, you're available or anyone else to do this, but we definitely need some help on that to do this. So that's excellent. I'm going to...